Rode's lineup of on-camera microphones is full of great products these days. But I want to take you back 10 years to when Rode re-released their redesigned Rode video mic with the Rode video mic Rycode. Let's talk. So like I said, this microphone was released back in 2013. But why am I talking about it now? Well, because it's still being sold for around 100 to 150 dollars. So now in 2023, should you consider it at all? Well, the simple answer is no. But the answer, but the reason might not be what you expect. Taking the microphone into your hands, you will notice that the build quality is solid. It is all plastic everywhere, but it does still feel sturdy and durable, like it could handle some wear and tear. But the size is rather large compared to a lot of the competitors out there, even from Rode itself. And with a length of 25 centimeters, if you're planning on putting it on something small, like say a Sony APS-C body, then you might actually run into some issues if you're using a wide angle lens because the camera might actually push into the frame. But for IO, the microphone has a single on off switch with a third position for a low pass, sorry, a high pass filter on the back and a single power LED. That's it. Now from the on off switch, you might assume that the microphone is battery powered. Well, it is, but probably not in the way that you think. See, when you pop open the cover on the top, you will actually reveal a battery compartment that houses a nine volt battery. So no charging, no battery run times, because you just need to get a bunch of nine volt batteries. So this can be a good thing because you won't have to worry about battery life since you can just bring a bunch of cheap nine volt batteries and do your thing but it actually isn't. Because for one, you don't get a, a standard battery life expectancy because battery lives in these traditional batteries vary wildly between brands and between the quality of the battery itself. And that also prevents you from just, you know, having it powered by whatever it is connected to meaning that you have to remember to turn it on, but you also need to remember to turn it off or you run out of that battery. Personally, I prefer any other option because if it was powered by whatever it was connected to, I wouldn't have to worry about it at all. Or if it had a charging possibility, then I could just permanently keep the charging cable connected when it was mounted on something like a streaming setup or something like that. Now for connectivity, you connect the video mic using the 3.5 millimeter jack that is on the end of the hardwired 17 centimeter cable. Now it does extend up to 55, millimeter, uh, 55 centimeters, but it will wear out the coil. Now the big redesign that they did and the name Rycote in the microphone is name relates to the shock mount that the microphone is standing on. This plastic red thing that you see. It works very well, so props for that. It's a it's a good system. And Rode has continued to use the same type of system in their microphones today as well. At the bottom of the shock mount, there is a cold shoe mount, which also houses a 5 8 inch screw hole. So if you want to connect it with most of your camera stuff, you'll need an adapter. If you want to mount it on a mic stand, you'll probably also need an adapter. But so that's the build itself. But how does this 10 year old microphone actually sound when in use? Well, let's switch over to that and let's see. So this is how the Rode VideoMic Rycoat sounds when mounted on my Sony a6400 and the gain setting set to 25. Now the microphone and the camera itself are about 30 inches away from me. So it is a bit further than you 
in a way should, but it is a shotgun microphone, so it should be able to handle this. Personally, I think the microphone sounds decent, and if your use case was YouTube videos or just hobbying or whatever kind of personal use you might have, then I think the video mic right code would work fine. But if you're looking for more professional use, there are better options. If you're looking at the price point, there are better options. Now in terms of specifications, the Rode VideoMic Rycode has a 0.5 inch capsule with a super cardioid polar pattern. And being a shotgun microphone, it blocks out sound from around and behind the microphone really efficiently. For its own noise level, Rode has it marked down at 20 decibels, which is all right. So with all of that, why don't I recommend it? For that, let's switch back to my usual setup and my normal microphone. And while I do that, you guys can head down and click the like button, okay? Thanks. So why can I not recommend the Rode VideoMic Rycote now in 2023? And why do I regret buying it myself two years ago? Well, that is for the simple reason that for the price, the $100, or not to mention the $150 that it's on for Amazon, there are so many better options, even from Rode itself. The smaller Rode mics like the Rode Video Micro 2 or the Rode Video Mic Go 2, both are smaller, they cost less, they're powered by whatever they're connected to, and they just sound better. Now you might say that, well, comparing a 10 year old microphone to recently, fairly recent releases is unfair, but the point is that this is still being sold. And if you don't know better and you're looking for a new microphone, you might come across this and well, it looks pretty professional. So you might think that this is a good buy. Well, it just, when it just isn't. And if you do want to go for something bigger like this and more expensive, then just straight up save a bit more and go for the Rode VideoMic NTG, which again, just sounds better. And all of this is just inside Rode's own lineup. This isn't even mentioning the competitors like Deity and Sennheiser. If you count those in the competition like you should, well, the Rode VideoMic Ryko just has no place anymore especially for the price that it's being sold at. It was a good microphone, it's just not worth getting in 2023. But what do you think? Am I being too hard on the old veteran? Let me know in the comments below and have a great rest of your week. That is it for this time. I will see you all next time. Uh, bye bye.